Hello everyone, Joe Thatcher here with Midwest Military Equipment out of Washington, Missouri. We're going to do a little shop walkthrough video today, kind of give you an update on what we have going on, what new projects we're working on, and just kind of give you an overall show of all the different equipment that we have up here on our main lot. So we'll go ahead and make our way back to the back lot and kind of go over some of the stuff. We got a lot of interesting projects going on right now. A lot of Stuart and Stevensons we're working on. Uh, some Oshkosh trucks, some 900 series stuff even too. Haven't worked on any of those in quite a while. We've got a few number of them left. It's just the 900 series stuff sadly has started to dry up over the past couple of years. So we'll make our way back to the main shop and kind of go over everything there. So this first building here to my right it's mainly just for shipping and receiving of parts. It's where our offices are. And uh, this is the main building where we do perform all of our work, service, maintenance, everything else, and all the vehicles we have for sale uh, and get ready for sale. So uh, walking over here in front of this bay here, this is a uh, M1088A1. So 1088A1 was originally a road tractor. As you can see by this, we've got it stripped down to a cabin chassis, uh, getting it prepped. So. This is actually one of four water trucks we're getting ready to build right now. Uh, the guys in the fab shop we'll show you here in a minute are working on some of the components for the tanks. Uh, but this this was originally a car or excuse me a road tractor truck, so it had a fifth wheel plate here, catwalk. We've since removed all that, gave it a bare frame cha cabin chassis. We sold a lot of trucks as just bare cabin chassis, but this one's actually going to go start to finish through our shop. So. Part of our standard water trucks, uh, all of them get four corner strobes. That's what we've got drilled out there on the front bumper. Uh, they get all new LED lighting, 90% treader better wheels and tires, air conditioning, um, along with the air conditioning. These are all, we do offer them with a stereo or without a stereo. This one's gonna get uh, just the standard unit without the stereo. We've got all of our pre-wiring done for our front sprayer nozzles, strobes, everything of that nature. Uh, interior, this is actually a gorgeous truck. It's almost a shame it's gonna get refinished in gray and black but very very nice clean truck to begin with but we're starting to get it stripped down and get it prepped so we'll go ahead and go in one of the first doors over here and kind of show you what all we've got going on in the shop today so inside the shop here this is another m1088 a1 so this will be set up identical to that unit over there. This one's also going to be a water truck. So we're going to be removing the fifth wheel plate. It's actually a pretty good example of what comparison to that truck out there to this one here. You see we've got to remove the shock tower brackets when we remove the uh, fifth wheel ramp slides. Fifth wheel plate comes off, catwalk comes off, pretty much everything to get this baby down to a 14 foot strip frame. Um, so this unit, all new battery cables, batteries, uh, full service. This is a uh, A1 truck as well, so this one has the 3126B CAD engine in it, uh, produces just shy of 300 horsepower. Uh, the nice thing about the 3126s, we'll walk over to the other side, is they do have a factory exhaust brake. Um, this engine on this one is super clean as well. So this is a factory pack brake exhaust brake, it's controlled inside the cab. Uh, it's one of the nice features on the 3126 trucks and C7 trucks that it has. Uh, this truck, being that it's not a C7, still has the original 100 amp dual voltage alternator. Um, we do offer an upgrade kit to be able, if you have a 3126 truck or a C7 truck, and it has a 100 amp alternator on it, we do offer the 260 amp alternators, and we can kind of help walk you through on converting it to that. Um, this is actually a newer A1 truck, as you can tell as well. It's a newer of the 3126B because it's a full serpentine belt engine. So. Uh, which all that's going to end up coming apart because we've got to put our AC pulley in, our AC bracket, front condensers underneath the grill. Once again, this whole truck's going to get stripped down. Uh, all new LED lighting, same strobes as you saw on that unit, as I discussed earlier. New upgraded cab airbags and just overall going through everything on it. 90% treader, better tires. And this is a M1078A1. This one's actually sold and getting ready to go to down to Florida. This unit came into us in this condition here. We removed the bedsides off of it, but Joel's going through the mechanical aspects of it. Um, this is kind of, I would say, a farm fresh one. <laughs> it's right out of the lot, ready to go through and get touched up, cleaned up, gone through. 
Uh, we've installed new tires on it. This one we've deleted the CTIS, so this has got our CTIS delete plugs in the hub. Uh, I didn't think he's out test driving this truck today. It's got factory LED tail lights on it. It's a pretty simple, basic M1078A1. Uh, this over here is a truck that we've been working on for quite a while. So this was originally a M1083A1. So the M1083A1 would be a 14 foot cargo bed truck. We've since removed the cargo bed. Uh, this unit, we built a custom catwalk on the rear of it. Uh, so this catwalk, it's actually gonna get a fertilizer body. So this is all done out of stainless steel. This plates here are to protect because it's gonna be a spreader bed. So we've custom formed and built the stainless steel plates that go over the top of the frame rail. With that on top, it, what it does is it keeps all the check valves, air valves, everything that's underneath there clean and good. So this was just, we're getting pretty close on getting this one upfitted. Uh, they wanted a hitch. You'll ask, why the hell is this hitch so far out here? Uh, well, this hitch, the spinner system for the back of the bed sits right here. So this will still allow them if they want to pull a tender body or anything with this truck, they're going to be able to do it. One of the coolest features of this truck that we'll show once it's getting closer to be completed is we did build a set of 20 inch wide custom wheels for it. So we'll walk out, we'll show you the tires that are going on it, but just one hell of a tire that's going on it. Um, you can see the whole frame has been refinished in a satin black, a satin chassis black. We still so gotta put all the shocks back on this unit. Uh, all of the bed mounts, these are our spring mount, tension mounts, same mounts that we use on our water trucks. Um, this is the catwalk here. We've got an integrated boarding ladder that slides out, down. It's a three rung boarding ladder, so you're able to get on and off of the truck. Uh, custom mounts for the transmission cooler because that originally sat underneath the frame rails. Um, Another cool thing about this is we have uh, built custom made fenders. The custom made fenders here are all out of a uh, 3 16 steel and then they're wrapped in an inch and an eighth DOM tubing. Uh, this was originally not an A1R truck, but we've added A1R grab handles to it. Uh, Sam's actually assembling the doors on this truck. We gotta do some sound deadening, further paint on the interior. Washer fluid reservoir we relocated because of the front bumper. So you can see the steps with the new fenders. We've mitered the steps. Uh, we've added these or, or, uh, auxiliary floodlights right there on the front bumper, LED lighting on the cab. Another cool thing is we built a custom visor on the front of it that's got two light bars mounted in it. So you'll be able to see where you're going at night. They're gonna be using this quite a bit at night and working at night. That's why we've installed these side mounted bars as well. Just overall truck turned out really awesome. Excited to uh, get the bed on it, get it finished. So this is the M-Ramp. Uh, this was in our last video if you're following our channel. Getting ready to build a custom hood on it. So this unit, we've got all the wiring, all the pre-wiring done, I should say, inside the cab. Guys from the fab shop are working on mocking up a, a new hood for it. So they obviously pretty, uh, it's very tough on a project of this scale to draw everything in CAD right out of the gate and make it all fit right. So we're actually making some cardboard templates here laying out the cardboard templates to kind of get our shape and design on how we want it uh, and then we're going to build from there so it's been a very big project and finally starting to get close to getting it finished up those are the custom side toolboxes rear lights we've got the whole interior gutted ever since we got everything pre-wired these are all the paneling and skins that we built for the whole interior we built custom seats in the interior just a whole ton of stuff it's really going to turn out really pretty when it's all said and done these are different panels it's going to have full comms in the back seat, uh, adjustable lighting on the inside of the cab for dome lights. Just a lot of really neat features on that truck. Going into the fab shop, uh, looks like they're working on some light bar mounts, water tank parts. These are actually steps for the back of our water truck. So these will be the ladder, the boarding ladders that go onto the back of the water truck itself. Light bar mounts. Those are the frame mounts that you saw earlier spring tensioning frame mounts. These are all the different tubes for the light bar mount, or for the water trucks themselves. Dalton's cutting up some more tube over there for those. So it's really all we've got going in here today. Just some of the things we've got going. Walking outside, we've uh, got these two trucks almost ready to roll. Just got to go through, get cleaned up and detailed. Uh, that one there is a M1088, or excuse me, an M1081A1R. So that's actually a pretty rare truck. Uh, very nice condition overall. 
it just got done having all the mechanical work done. Uh, it needs a little bit of cosmetic work as all these prior military trucks do. Uh, this one, we haven't even washed it yet, but the paint on it's very, very nice. This is a AMK30 uh, dump truck. So factory hydraulic winch on this dump truck. Uh, a lot of these dump trucks that have been coming out have been missing the tailgates. So we decided to take it into our own hands and this is probably gonna end up being something that we offer. So this is a replacement tailgate for the MK30 and MK29. Uh, the tailgates on these trucks are very hard to come by and it seems like a lot of them are missing. Uh, don't really understand why they could be missing or just one of those things takes off, it's been taken off and never put back on. So we drew and engineered this tailgate to work identical to the factory one with some minor improvements. Uh, we built heavier duty latches, the original latches, we're only three quarter, we did these out of one inch thick. Uh, just little minor things like that. We added longer tailgate chains, so if you want to spread, if you want to set your gate up to spread, you're able to spread, open that gate a little bit further. Just minor improvements over what the factory design was. So if you saw any trucks in the video or you're in the market for a truck or looking for parts for the trucks or any of the trucks, whether it be a Humvee, LMTV, Oshkosh truck like behind me, uh, we stock almost 25,000 square feet of parts. Uh, and then obviously we've got about 15 acres of inventory here. So if there's something that you're looking for in particular, feel free to shoot us a message or give us a call at 636-900-9046 or you can check us out online at midwestmilitaryequipment.com. Thanks for watching.